Welcome to Power Driven Diesel. In this episode, we're going to be testing the Borg Warner SXC 363. Uh, this has the 68 millimeter turbine, and we're putting this in a 0.70 T3 housing. Uh, we're gonna do the same test we've been doing, that, which is um, 1300 to 3200 RPM pull with uh, just the weight of the drums. Then we're gonna add about a 5500 pound load and uh, do a 1800 to 2800 RPM. That'll give us a wide range to see how this turbo behaves and um, see what kind of power we can make with this guy, see how it spools up and compare it to the other turbos. So with that, let's get this first run in and see how it goes. Okay. All right, let's go check out what the downgraph looks like. Here we go. So peak power on this guy by 55, by 55, 54, about 2300 RPM. What was peak torque? 13, 12, 1266. Okay. So that's the power from, you know, 13 to 32. Let's go do a loaded run, see what happens. Uh, see what it does. We'll, the loaded run will time, we'll graph by time so we can see how it compares spool up wise to other turbos out there. Um, and uh, with that, here we go. Okay. We pick up any power from the last run, we lose any power from the heat. Hit the same number. 555, 54. All right, let's let's compare this to the 362. The the 363, everybody uh, it's believed that it spools like a 362 and flows like a 364. Obviously, we didn't do this on the same day as either of those turbos, but hopefully this uh, will compare it against those two turbos right now and see what it looks like for both spool up and for peak and power and stuff like that. So, so there's our 62. So that's quite a bit, as far as time-wise, the 62 comes up a lot quicker. Um, well, a lot quicker being relative. It's definitely quicker than the 62. It's quicker than the 63. The only real difference between these is, as far as spool up is the outer diameter. The 63 has a larger outer diameter compressor wheel, which will definitely slow it down a little bit. And you're seeing that right here on the time. Uh, let's compare it to the 64. So we love the 64. And the 64 is slower yet again. No, the 64 is better. What? It doesn't feel like it's that far behind, like it shows here on the graph. It shows on the graph that it just got murdered by both the 62 and the 64. 
Um, it made good power. Um, the, they all, they're all making very, I mean, horsepower between all of this. Go to, go to max horsepower on all of these. Show me the max horsepower. So they're all the 62, the 63, that's the 62. So you pick up, I mean, the, all, all the power, just a small increase as you go up. The 62 versus the 63. Seven, seven, seven. seven horsepower on each one. Each one picked up seven horsepower over the one that was smaller than it. That's pretty funny. Um, so the horsepower is not a huge difference. The 62 definitely uh, spill quicker. I don't think this is a great test of the 63. Uh, I should, I've done it. A, I do it again, but I've already got the turbo. We gotta get we gotta get the turbo off to do some more testing. Um, all right, we're gonna do it one more time. Hold on, we're gonna test it one more time. See if we can get it closer. That's just I can't believe that disparity. So we're gonna try it one more time. So hold on. Let's see what you get. Did it again, same test, see if it's driver error or if we were able to figure it out this time. Try to do the same way every time. Let's see how this one compares. Okay, so which one's which? So we're still, we're still behind. It's better, but we're still behind. So as you see, the, yeah, 62 is the far left line. The middle line is a 64. The far right line is a 63. Um, I don't know, it's just a different day, different little bit. We've had the truck out about maybe a little different tuning. Anyway, I am not able to split up quicker than that. I don't think that's representative of the 63. I believe it. Uh, seat of the pants, it feels very similar to the other two. Um, the 62 is obviously feels the quickest. The 64 I could notice was slower. And the 63 I noticed was slower than the 62 for sure. Um, as you can see, power-wise, they're all pretty close. Um, let's do the average power of all these guys. So which one's which? So on this, the 63 comes in last place at 436 horsepower as average. The 62 came in first at 463 because that's super fast spool. The 64 came in at 457. Pretty close to the 62, just a little behind it. So anyway, this take this for what it's worth. It's on a stock head, old 12 valve. Um, maybe for some reason just likes the 62 and 64 better. I, I don't know. But on this test today, the 63 did not perform as well, but it's a different day. You know, as you can see, they're, they're very close. They're all very close. And um, anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and call us here at the shop, 435-962-9555. Uh, go to powerdrivendiesel.com. And, uh, of course, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to get all these videos as they're uploaded. Thanks. Bye.